actual execution plan in reality is just like estimated execution plan. Did you know that? Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and welcome to another episode of SQL in the 60 second. Today we are going to talk about one of the most popular question I often get asked during my performance tuning consultation. What is the difference between estimated execution plan and actual execution plan? The answer is pretty simple but many people often do not believe it. Actual execution plan is just an estimated execution plan with additional runtime detail. When you run estimated execution plan, SQL Server Engine builds the plan which it would have used or built when you run actual query. Only major difference between both of them is that estimated execution plan actually never runs the query, hence it does not have runtime detail as well as it is not stored in the cache. Whereas actual execution plan runs the query, has a runtime detail and stores the query in the cache. Right now, let's see a practical example about how we can run estimated execution plan as well as actual execution plan. Here on the screen, I have a query. This query is written for sample database. Now, first let's select the query and next go to menu on the top and over here, click on this icon. This icon, when you click, will build an estimated execution plan for your query. Well, you do not have to wait for entire query to run. SQL Server Engine will consider various internal factor and will give you execution plan for this query. If there are no changes between this moment and when we are going to run actual execution plan, SQL Server pretty much will use the same execution plan. Let's see how we can run actual execution plan now. Select the query and now click over here which says actual execution plan. Now click on execute. Once the query is completed, click over here. This query plan is actually same as estimated execution plan with some additional runtime details. Well, if you like what you see, please do not forget to subscribe, comment, like and share this video. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds.